Uh, it's what I said. Forget all the unifications. Forget the seriousness of it. Be the best of yourself. That's that's it. No more, no less. How impressed have you been with Usyk as a heavyweight? Uh, not one of these to jump on the gravy train. I've always been impressed with Usyk. You know, look at time ago. I've always knew Usyk was the real deal. He's a good fighter, Usyk. He's talented and he's a natural fighter as well. That's the difference. So he's, uh, that's why he's a quality operator. This guy can box in his sleep. You know, he's, he's born, bred to fight this Usyk. So he's as real as he gets. He's a proper fighter in my eyes. The last great Ukrainian champion was Klitschko, but do you see Usyk as being a completely different type of fighter or are there any traits that they've got in common? Uh, no, I don't think there's any traits. The Klitschko's fought like big men should. There was good fighters in the day, but this is a, this is a different time. But he's more of an all, he's a rounded package is uh, Usyk. He's a better fighter, in, not so much as saying he's better than them. They've had their time, I'm not saying that. But this guy's more of a rounded fighter. You know, he takes punches, he rolls with them, he slips in. He's got all the skill set in the world. He's not just mastered one skill set and stuck to it. This guy's got multi gears in his closet and he can turn the heat on up and down. You know, he's, he's, uh, he is. He's, uh, he ticks all the boxes. Where do you think the first Joshua Usyk fight was won and lost? Um, you know, I think uh, obviously his mindset. You know, he said to somebody when he climbed in the ring, um, how would you go about it? I heard that. You know, so that's hardly the right mentality going into anything. So it was already, he was looking at it. Jesus, I've got a mountain to climb here. This guy's very good. What am I going to do? That's a recipe for disaster. So I think he, uh, he can get it together. I think it'll be a harder fight this time, but he's going to have to change a lot of things. But can he win it? Yeah, he can win it. He's a big, strong man. He's dedicated. But again, you can overthink things. And if he starts thinking about, you know, too many game plans, this and that, and, you know, loads of other things, I need to be perfect, I need to get it absolutely right, I need this, I need that, he'll, he'll fail. Do you think Joshua can fight him differently second time round? Well, it's a big question. He should do. He's got different trainers and uh, I'm sure they'll input a lot into it. Um, but ultimately, when that bell goes, as he raises his game and changes it, so will Usyk. Usyk will know what's coming, you know, so, um, you know, let's see, you know, is it, there's how many things could happen, you know, Joshua could be a different, a different fighter, let his hands go, close the range more, and just think, right, let's get stuck in, and on the other hand, he could leave himself more vulnerable, more open, and get caught, mm. so, again, it's, it's, it's the way you see it, there's a lot of hype around it, everybody's looking forward to it, I'm looking forward to it, I think it's going to be a, it'll be a phenomenal fight. Hello. I wish to both of them all the best. You know, I'm not. Uh, I don't favour any. You know, but uh, it's a good fight. And Usyk is a good fighter. And if Joshua comes through Usyk, you know, he's proved himself. But it's a tall order. You know, I'd have to at this stage slightly favour Usyk in it. But I wouldn't be surprised if Joshua can come up with it and get the win.